YouTube, welcome back to another video. I have a reaction for y'all. We got another Catch a Predator reaction. I haven't done one of these in a little minute. So we're bringing them back. This one is the Clean Conscience Predator. So we're going to watch, see what's going on. Make sure if you're new, you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Yeah, like, comment, subscribe after you watch the video. So yeah, bro. Hope everybody's doing good. We be watching a lot of Catch a Predator, but I like the videos and y'all like them. And I think y'all like them because it just be crazy how many people actually show up. Like, and it, it's everyday people. It could be a teacher. It could be a pastor. It could be your daddy. Your dad might show up to this shit. And we never know, bro. We just gonna start the video. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna talk. Let's start it. Start my screen record. Three, two, one. Starting the video now. We thought we'd seen and heard just about everything, but what we found there surprised even our own Chris Hansen. A reminder, some of what you'll see is explicit. You've been blogging all night. What are you hearing from our viewers who've been watching and, and blogging with you? Here's a great example. Chris, oral first. I love oral. Want to meet up, baby? So have you ever been <laughs> touching your legs, your breasts, slowly? I tear your little <laughs> I wish you was here to play with my <laughs> Hon, would you like to take me in your mouth? And when we come back, Hi. there are two more days left in our operation, and many more men will be knocking on our door. Some who know all about To Catch a Predator. This is the show? On Dateline. Yes, sir. And for the first time, police will track down men at their homes. One man will make a tragic decision. Excellent. That's the one that shot. I killed himself when he got caught. How you gonna how you gonna talk to a minor then when it's time for you to get the consequences of talking to a minor you're gonna kill yourself? Like really bro? If 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 it was that serious, you should never did it. You know what I mean? Because you know it was wrong and you didn't want to go to jail for it. That's why you shot yourself. That's some I feel like that's some coward ass shit to me. We're watching somebody right me. now. Men come to our well, hidden not, camera. Let me, let, me, let me clarify that for niggas side of chaos. It's not coward to kill yourself. It's coward to shit he did. So, so don't try to mix up my words. You know y'all like to do that. House from all over Texas in hopes of meeting a young teen home alone. Some live right here in Murphy. Others drive long distances. 31-year-old Eric Rubelkava comes from Houston, more than four hours away. Hi. He gets no play. Come on in. Four hours for a little kid. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Online, he calls himself Sunset Liquid and talks romantically to the girl posing as a 13-year-old, saying he wants to kiss her everywhere. And lick you all over. Really? Lick me? Yes. Dang. He makes it clear he means oral sex, both giving and receiving. Could that be why he drove all this way? Oh, well, we got soda. Yeah, I'm sure you're got soda and some Halloween candy and everything. It's plenty of escorts in Houston you could have hit up and just got your little shit in. But a little kid, bro, a little innocent seventh grader, 13, that's seventh grade. Not as, not as, yeah, that's seventh grade. Middle school. His mom gotta be sick, bro, just to think that you sat up for nine months and carried this filth in your stomach just for him to turn out like this. Jesus. Sit down. Yeah, There's no way. Um, no, I'm actually out. I drank it all today. I've got root beer and coke. <laughs> As is often the case, after a long drive, he needs to go to the bathroom. Pour yourself. You have a restaurant, please? Um, I don't know. I think the toilet's gone. I don't know. Wow. Do you want to sit down? What? I bet you're tired, right? No, you're not at the restaurant. But the decoy, an actress well, hired by Dateline, doesn't horrible, want to let him go any further into the house. The decoy acting skills is completely trash. This business said the toilet is gone. You couldn't think of a lot before he pulled up. She said the toilet is gone and she don't got no water in her house. Come on, bro. We need better decoys than this. Well, why don't we just sit and talk first? I mean, we just got here. I'm going to go outside for a little bit. No, no, sit down. Yes, Come on. Blew it, bro. That's when I step in. Hey, sir. Yeah. I need to talk to you for a minute, please. Oh. Come on over here. I thought he What's happening? 
Then he recognizes me. This is a show. Huh? This is a show. Which show? The To Catch a Predator. Yes. On Dateline. Yes, sir. So even though he knows who I am, he decides to stay and talk. Sunset Liquid starts off by claiming he thinks the girl he's here to meet is 18. I'm serious. I thought it was 18. But that's not what it said in the chat log. I really don't remember, sir. Here's a little reminder. The decoy told him she was 13, and he types, I could get in big trouble by just talking to you. I could even go to prison. Perfect. Have you met other girls who are this age before? No, no sir. I like to meet people from all ages. Right. All ages doesn't That's mean how you that know I'm going to have a sexual right encounter there. with somebody. That's not my intention. They always say, I like to meet people of all ages. Then when you ask them, have they done this before? It's always no. So if you like to meet people of all ages, why just today you decided to 13 year old? This is not their first time, but they be lying, bro. And you got to think, like, how many other times have they got away with this to think it's okay? And how are you just comfortable just walking in a stranger's house, bro? Like, how do y'all do this, bro? I never get it. Even even if this wasn't no catch a predator, the online dating thing never made sense to me. You meeting someone that you don't know, they could potentially kill you, poison you. You walking into their house like everything's sweet. Man. Some of y'all. So you were just gonna come over here and hang out? No, she said she wanted to take photographs. I like to photograph all kinds of people. So you would never have had sex with this girl too. No. I would not be able to live consciously. Knowing that I so even why would touch you say all But here you say that you want to perform oral sex on her. My point. That's touching, by the way. I want to lick it, though. Dang! The thing about online chat is a lot of it's fantasious, too. You become a different fantasious? person. So you didn't think she was 13, you thought she was 18. No, you I, talked about performing sex acts, but you I really weren't going to go through with it. I would not have come here. You wanted to be in a fantasy world, but yet you walked into the world of reality. Well, because I like to meet different people. Do you see why those contradictions make it hard for someone I to believe your story? I you understand. I understand that. Okay. You drove but four you hours. Said it, it's just a story. Now, have you ever seen the Dateline show before to catch a predator? I've seen it one time. What did you think about it when you saw it? Well, it's, it's disturbing how these men are are actually wanting to have sex with these girls. Does it disturb you that you're now one of those men who's walked into the investigation? Outstanding. But again, I don't feel at all guilty because my intentions are not to have sex with these girls. So your conscience is clean at this point? At this point, yes. Well, Eric, as you know, I'm Chris Hansen from Dateline NBC. We're doing a story I on men who try to meet that. children online. Right. It's definitely a shame that, that I'm in this predicament. A shame why? Well, because I have a person here interviewing me and has this chat, this fantasious world that, that I was in, and that I'm here, and I don't know what the consequences are going to be when I walk out that door. What do you think? I don't know. There might be FBI, police, outside that door. Arrested, bro. Just Not as he suspected, walk. authorities are Good. waiting for him to Good. come out the front door. Police, on the ground. On the ground. On the ground. Like all the other men who show up at our undercover house, he's taken to the police station where his car is searched. Investigators read him his rights and begin to question him. Now he remembers the decoy telling her age. She didn't seem like she was an underage girl. Okay. But she did say, she did tell you that she was 13, right? Right. I don't have any criminal records. I've never Before checked that. I've never done anything in my life to hurt anybody. Okay. I just found spirituality a few years ago to help me. Here they go and I have never shit, bro. done oh this God. before. But apparently his spirituality didn't stop him from asking for sex with a girl who said she was 13. Hey, Chris always be snapping, bro. Oh, yeah, is, yeah. yeah. If you watch Kids of Predator, Chris always got the comebacks when they bring up a spiritual shit. He be talking about, he be going in on their eye, bro. Like, come on. You're being charged with a second degree felony. So that means I can go to prison? Yes. And there are more oh, men who will be facing the same charge, who admit openly they think it's no big deal to send pornography to young teens. I send it to everybody. 
So it's like your so calling you card? Like it's person. just a picture. When you send it to a 13-year-old girl, it becomes pornography. But who raised him? Like, who raised? I ain't even gonna say who raised them, because a mom could raise somebody good and they still turn out like this. But like, what, what kind of... What kind of antenna is not connecting with the other one to not know that texting and sending pictures to little kids is wrong? What, what, like, we know that. Everyday people, we know that. But something's wrong with these people not to know, for them not to know that little kids and adults don't go together. It's really not that hard to understand, but I don't know. This shit crazy. If you have kids, like I say in all the videos, watch your kids. Even though I'm a kid, I ain't a kid. I'm 18, but when I was a kid, bro, my people told me that. So everybody should know that. You feel me? Some some parents don't even watch their kids, don't even monitor their kids. So if you have kids, go through that phone because anybody can get kidnapped. You feel me? Anybody can. So watch your kids, bro. Make sure they're not talking to no adults on no websites. If you knew, subscribe, like, and comment. I will see you on the next video. We out. God took me right up all my sins. I can't go back. No. Holy step and gaining real knowledge. You can soak that. Yep. Thank God he gave me good light and brought hope back. Yes. Big stepping on the devil's head. Got my toe fat. They said I.